Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, visa update. Yee. It's great news. Really great news. Yeah, we got our visa. So after 28 nervous days, we uh, just suddenly got a text from VSF Global saying, what did they say? It said something like your application is coming back to you. Yeah. It was like, well, was that a yes or is it a no? Does, does that mean we're actually going or yeah, not? Yeah, so we've got a, <laughs> is a pass or a fail. But anyway, it come by courier. Um, it's a little tiny envelope, one each, wasn't it? And um, oh. it nervously opened up the packet. It's thinking, oh, it's just our passport. That's it. It's the fail. And mm. inside the passport, there was a visa. Yeah. So that is good. So we finally got our visa. Yeah. And also in with the visa was a appointment with <laughs> Seth in Portugal for July. So we've got our stage two interviews in July. Yeah. Haven't we? Apart from I'm in Cumbria. Yeah. So, on the 13th. And where yeah, are you? Uh, Castelo Branco. So we're in two different places. Yeah. So you've got it in Coimbra. Yeah. So Nina's is two days for mine in Coimbra. And then mine's in Castelo Branco, which is obviously not very far from where we live, but it's a bit further to Coimbra oh. from where we live in Portugal. Yeah. But anyway, that's good news. Stage one. We don't care. As complete. long as we get it. Yeah. So that's it. So we're now getting nearly getting ready to go back to portugal yeah. we've got a few complications left we're nearly residents well we're nearly got Not residents yeah, yeah so we've done the first stage of our visa now first stage that Second gives us stage. four months yeah so we've got four months to get ourselves settled in portugal now yeah so that's all it is is a summer temporary visa to go to portugal yeah and get ourselves settled and then we have our stage two interview which after that if we get it we get to um, mm. get two years residency. We do. Temporary residency. We do. Uh, we On the visa, on, there's a lot of people that, not the D7 visa, a lot of people think it's just for people with pensions. So we're, we, I know I look old, but we're not quite pensionable yet. <laughs> no. So We've had to write down retired because we're not going to be Yeah, because we're a, not going to be working. Business, so... Yeah, because yeah. if you're on a work visa, you have to get a job. <coughs> and the part of Portugal we're going to, the you know, the few far between work. <laughs> so we've gone through a retirement visa. Yeah. And we haven't got a passive income, which is what they want. So but instead we had savings yeah. from the sale of our house. So that's what we did our... Uh, visa application based on mm. we had money in our portuguese bank account and all the other requirements and in england we got the what we the profit from the sale of our house and living in a cabin van yeah that's all, we're and that's living all on. we got but we're yeah so it's very tight because in here but it's very tight money because we've got to make sure we've got enough to prove and show yeah we've got to last next... the rest of our lives yeah and they want there's a minimum you've got to have at least a minimum income uh, oh. in portugal which is about it let's just gone out i think it's about 800 euros a month yeah. so but for a husband to be 800 and then for your spouse it's sort of 50 percent mm. of that mm. but we've done it slightly differently when we've gone for a visa each yeah so we may have to prove 800 each yeah. which is going to be hard that's it but anyway, we started we've... to have a bit of a um well we was traveling back on the 15th wasn't we going via our visa travel. we told our, yeah. uh, told them at our visa interview, uh, view that we was traveling on 15th of march but obviously that's couldn't well we got our visas back on the 14th of march yeah. <laughs> so yeah. it's like We'd already cancelled it because we didn't know what was going no, on. No, we started talking beforehand because we was really worried. So we cancelled our Euro Tunnel trip. Um, we hadn't got our passports back, so we couldn't have travelled anyway. And we thought, was it because of the fact that we had savings in our account and not an actual income coming in? Yeah, not in? a passive income. No. So we started looking around about, well, we need to get a passive income. So we did something. Uh, crazy a little bit crazy that's again <laughs> yeah well it's sort of a, another online yeah we've had a week to there was a we found a property um, <laughs> up north uh, that we could afford and get a rental in to come from but a week before the auction so we 
<laughs> so we put one of a house online, unseen, <laughs> at auction, which is We've done it scary. again, haven't we? <laughs> well, yeah. At least it was in this country and I not did. in Portugal. But yeah, yeah I'd, I'd read the legal one. pack, but I don't, they've written, so you can't understand them, but I didn't think it was too bad. But anyway, no. we put an obstacle in our way, but which we hope will help now. So we'll have a, mm. a rental income to help with our stage two interview. So, so it, at the moment, we're trying to finalise, we've got to complete on the house because the hammer went down. In the was, UK, yeah. Yeah, and we're clicking away going, needs to go, bid, bid, I could try to bid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we did it yeah. on an online auction and yeah, we was the winning bidders. Yeah. So we now. 80. Bid. Confirm. Oh, Bidders God, £76, sake. Pounds I have. Thank you. 76 now. 76, oh, you're flashing up. 76, thank you. 77. 77. 78. 78. 79. Oh, God, I'm not getting... 80. 81. Oh. 82. Keep pressing it. I can't keep pressing it. Nothing's happened. 82. Can I say 84 Place bid. Now? 84 now, can I say? 84 now. 84. 86. 86 now. 86. 88. 88, can I say? I can, thank you, 88. And 90. <sighs> and 90. 92. 92 now. 92, 94. That's going to go too high. We said 110. 94, 96. 96, 98. 96, 98. 96, 98. And 100. Round it up, 100. 100, I have. Oh. 92. Keep going. 104. 104 now. 104. 106. Oh, Jesus. It's going to slow down soon. Keep going. 106. 108. 108. You know that area. It's going to get up to That's it. I'm out. 110 now. Go on, Sam. Go. Are you the highest bid? Yes. For the second. Third and final time at 108. Be ready just in case. Oh my god! 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 Shush! We'll see what happens now. <laughs> oh, we just really won that! Yeah. <gasps> Put it for 108. Yeah, that's a lot of money though. 110 was our maximum bid, what we would go for, and we've just done it for 108. Oh we'll my see god. What happens now. Oh my god. <laughs> We've just brought a house. Yeah, I've got lots to do now. <laughs> and lots of extra on top of it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> own a UK house again. We do. So we now have our name on a house again. Yep. Or we will in about a week's time. As well, hopefully soon a week's as the time. Solicitors get their finger out. You, they, we have 28 days to completely complete this and get the keys. Yeah, as soon as the hammer there. goes down the auction, you've got 28 days to complete. Mm. So the time's yeah. ticking down and we've got to get it bought. And then we'll have a passive income then. Mm. It's not enough, but we've still got some savings left. Well... It was it was the fact that we were thinking, well, we haven't received our visa yet. Do we try and think that is this going to happen, or do we get an income coming in so that we can also prove that? And it just so happens our visa has been accepted of how we are. Mm -hmm. So now we've got to make sure we've got all the paperwork for this new house in line to prove now that we've now got an income coming in and not the savings now, yeah, so, uh... and where we've put the money. Yeah, so if you just have your money in the bank, it's obviously mm. interest rates are rubbish. Yeah. And you could just blow it on a Ferrari. That's it. Not that it was enough to buy a Ferrari. But... Oh, and the other thing we needed as well. Yeah. <laughs> so we're getting a Ferrari no. instead. <laughs> um, and the other thing we, we was worried about is because we hadn't proved where we first had the money from. What? What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the first proof. Oh, yeah, at the stage one interview... Uh, the lady at VSF said, where's your pr proof of source of income? And we said, well, there's That's, the money in the, in the bank account. account. She goes, yeah. yeah, but someone could have lent that to you. I said, so, so, we, house. so we should have at our stage one had like the completion proof. statement from the sale of the house. Yeah. But, but anyway, we got the visa. So yeah. that was Woo. relevant now. We have a visa. Yeah. 
We yeah. were one step closer. Oh. Well, no. right, and then what? And then we've got stage two interviews in July now. Yeah. So we hope by July we'll have uh, the property that we just bought at auction. Mm -hmm. And we've got tenants lined up already. Yep. And by July we should have a few months worth of rental coming in. Mm -hmm. So that will help with the fees, the stage two interview. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just weird. You've got to have your interview. Yeah. Before me, and I have mine two days after. So what if you they go? You have your interview, and they say, no, you've got to go back to England, and I have mine interview, and they say, no, you have to stay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be rebelling at the gates. Yeah, I'm not very good at being quiet. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. It is just an update of how we are with the visa process. Yeah, yeah. So we're still in camper on the driveway. Yep. Nina's been buying more. Ornaments. <laughs> so I need, more, more I need in. a home. I need it to be a home, and I can't wait to get out there. Yeah, tiny van. And why we're doing this in a tiny van? We also had set in plan as well the fact that we we'd worked out we was going to take our furniture from our lock up, and that it's costing us a, a great deal of money, four hundred pound a month. So we've now. We searched around of all the different ways, so it's like we buy a van, we buy a car, we find anything we can to get it over there. But the cost of it was becoming ridiculous, and every stage we were stopped because of customs. So yeah. even if we took it in this vehicle or another, it's yeah, going to be still customs. Get, yeah, still get done for you've got to import all year. Yeah. I'll be researching it, and everyone people were saying, uh, Oh, you've got a get over there get your residency then you can get a certificate of baggage from the consulate yeah. they're thinking oh that's it would have been ages yeah. but then we spoke to uh, the room a removals company well a contractor for a removal contract mm. and they said oh don't do it like that like we just, loophole, but... uh, just yeah stop but uh, yeah there's not a loophole it's just it basically like, their, their customers means, yeah. their custom agent um does a letter we have to write a letter saying this is second hand goods it's just furniture and we've and we're not going to sell it for another year no and we've owned it for 12 months and already. we've owned it for more than 12 months and yeah. all they do is work out the customs on per cubic, cubic meter. meter so we paid about 750 pound yeah for customs yeah including that yeah 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 i'm sure yeah it must be yeah, on so, about, we, that's yeah on about so we've 39 paid... cubic meters of yeah we rubbish. had we had a lot of stuff Hoarded stuff. Who had a lot of stuff? <laughs> not me. So it's all decorations. It's not. I, I just Christmas like Christmas decorations. I like flowery things and mm. pretty things and wedding things and Christmas things and yeah, they all pile up and we couldn't get rid of anything. No. And you got a lot of tools and we got a lot of craft stuff and yeah. we've got a lot of things that we've collected over the years. And to be honest, we worked out the costs of yeah. It's easy to say, to have a big get rid of it all and start again. But when you're actually trying to keep looking at a lockup of how you're supposed to get rid of it, it's hard. Yeah. But yeah, we to itemise every item it's in, in the lockup. It's losing those memories and we're taking the memories with us now. Didn't we? Yeah. I just spend Itemising everything. Putting the fact, putting those dress on it, putting numbers on it, itemising it all. And what happened? <laughs> yeah, so we got a removal company in the end to sort of thing out for us. Uh, very good. Mm. And yeah, they come and collect it all. We said, oh, we've got our list. Yeah, there you go. Four hundred and three items. Four hundred and three items. He said, oh, we all don't pleased. need that. We just make our own. Yeah. <laughs> so everything we've done, they put a piece of brown tape over the top of it all and put their own numbers. And they basically went down and put box and a big line of box and then turned the page. So all our hard work, but you see it's two different companies telling you two different things. No, it should all be itemized anyway. And then um, it actually got arranged that on the 10th of, where are we? 10th of March, that our um, furniture would be picked up but it won't actually get there yet and it'd be sitting in storage. So we thought, great, that gives us some more time because we've bought this house. We've got to sort things out. We hadn't had our visa, but then suddenly it, um, it hadn't arrived yet. So no. we still carry on that our furniture's going over. 
We've got no passport, no visa, so we're now still waiting in England. But our furniture is on the way to Portugal now. Yeah, and then we well, gave was. them a phone call and they said, oh, on the 21st we will give you a call letting you know what day it arrives. Ta-da, Tuesday, yeah, 9 so, oh, a.m. Yeah, be there tomorrow at 9 o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, we're in England. And we're like, uh, <laughs> so we're, we're not actually over there yet. So we luckily, I turn now, the amount of times I must say Melanie on this programme so yeah. far. Thank you, Melanie. Once again, you've stepped in. And of course, Gary, Gary. has helped as well. They all have keys for our house. So luckily they moved, they turned up. They, you know, in between her work as well. So she turned up to see all our furniture in. Two lorries turned up and they delivered it yep. on March so the 22nd. So all our stuff is, all our furniture is now in Portugal. Yeah. And we're not paying lock up no more. Nope. And Gary thinks we need to buy a new house because yeah. we can't fit in. Yeah, because the house now looks like <laughs> the lock up. The lock up again, yeah. But anyway, yeah. it's all there. We're really grateful for all the help. It's brilliant. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You've really come through for us, and we owe you one, yep. <laughs> two, maybe more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was great news. Now, my furniture's been in Portugal longer than me. Yeah. <laughs> no, not <Ooh>. quite. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's it. So we're all getting there. Yep. About mid April, hopefully, we should be finalised on our rental property and sorted all the bits out. And uh, last time we went to Portugal, Ted was really ill. Yeah. With a tumour on his back. About the third or fourth operation, yeah. When we're just about to go, and we've got him. So fingers crossed, his cancer's controlling. Yeah, he, he's not he's had got to a, come back for no, a while. No, he's. He ha, I have found we've got a couple of little, yeah. one on his tail and thing, but, but hopefully. But now this time, not. Summer's decided she's not very well. Yeah, so Summer's not ill well so now. We've had to go back to the vets and get extortionist UK vet bills. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. She's only got. <laughs> there's me. It's, it's okay. She's only got. Yeah, so she's, she's got, got a, a little urine infection. urine infection and she's on the medication and hopefully we can get it cleared up. But we've got to now pay for a the UK animal health yeah. check for travel. Yeah. Ted's Ted, got a passport. Yeah, Ted's got a Portuguese passport. So he's, for three years, he's the only he's one fine. that's all living while out he's, there. <laughs> all while his, vaccine, uh, his rabies and vaccines are in date, mm. he can come and go as he please. He can he go can. now if he wanted. He can. He can't drive the van very well, but... No. But some uh, they we couldn't get one for summer because they only had one passport. Yeah, due to, yeah, I don't know, COVID, shortage Brexit, only, but shortage, yeah. We'll get her a passport when we go back to Portugal. Yeah. But at the moment, we've got to pay, oh, like, they've wanted 240 quid or 30 quid. That's oh, ridiculous. It's really upsetting the cost that mm. they charge you in the UK. It, it, like the vet's bill, that really upset me because I think... It's like they're just pulling a figure out of their heads and... Well, I've said they do a lot of training vets, they're very, very well yeah. qualified, but... I'd like to just stroke a dog and say, oh yes, no, I'll they... test this and no. it's cost a lot. They know what they're doing. Yeah. It just seems a lot of money. Yeah. So now we're very determined to get out to Portugal. Yeah. But we're also in a little bit of limbo waiting for... the If this house that we've brought on auction, it has to be within 28 days of it completing. So that cutoff date is the 6th of April. So we're hoping that this is all finalized and done and we can either just go and see it. Well, actually we're gonna go and see it on Wednesday so that we've actually had a, a real viewing of it and decide for ourselves. And then we can sort of see, okay, we don't need to be here now. We can head off to Portugal. If we can do it remotely. Yeah, and do it like that. Um, What's it like? This property you bought was a five-hour drive, and diesel's like one eighty yeah, or something. It's ridiculous <laughs> at the moment. I don't even know where much it is now. No, it no. Try not to move much with that diesel at that price. But... Yeah, yeah. But that's it. That's it. That's an update, and that's yeah. about it, I think. And that's it. So next thing should be we're, we're going to carry on putting out any little videos that we've got from the past just to keep it up and running yeah we've got films up little bits and bobs yeah, that we keep film with the camera the wrong way round. wrong way round always yeah little bits from the round the farm that's and stuff, it and quinter that's it and then the next bit will be us on our journey um and that grass is all long and green in portugal now it is yes 
we watched as the removal lorry um, was driving in and how green the grass is. It just shows our hard work before we left. Even though it's now overgrown again, it's not going to be tangled weeds. It's going to be long grass yeah. and able to do. And the first thing we're going to do is we're, we're heading back to Portugal by Eurotunnel. Uh, we're taking the dogs. Any other little bits that we happen to have to fit in the camper. And what's the other thing I want to stick in the camper, Stephen? I don't know. We need a lorry, not a camper. I know. And we've got two dogs and three uh, I would say on the video, because in case we get... So, oh, yeah, we'll watch your video today. You've got three chickens in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. That's it. That's it. We're up to date. We're in the van. It's, the weather's really nice. It is. And we'll uh, hopefully catch you in Portugal. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Uh, bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you like what you've seen, please like, subscribe. And follow our story as we move into Portugal. Don't forget to smash that bell. <laughs> Don't forget to smash the bell. Cheers. Bye.